Hello, my name is Brent McCall. I am the Product Specialist and Technical Support Specialist at Metro Home Theater Group at Thurial Home Theater. Today I'm going to cover a topic that a lot of you guys are afraid of, HDCP 2.2. What is it, why is it, and how is it going to affect you? It's really not that bad despite all the bad press that's happening. HDCP 2.2 is effectively in signal strength and how it's carried the same thing as the original HDCP. The only thing that's really changed that you need to understand is going through AVRs, switches, matrixes, and splitters. If you're going point to point, switch to display with an extender, an active cable, a balen, doesn't matter as long as it's point to point, the HDCP is invisible to the devices or better yet, the devices are invisible to HDCP. As soon as you go into an AVR or a matrix or a splitter, where you're negotiating a variety of inputs to a variety of displays, then HDCP 2.2 can absolutely affect you. In order to minimize issues, you want to make sure that everything in the stream in those situations is HDCP 2.2 compliant. This means that the AVR, the switch, any matrixes, any splitters, and all displays must be HDCP 2.2 compliant. Fortunately, you're only going to see HDCP 2.2 on the new sources that are coming out now that support UHD streaming media or UHD disc-based content. Other than that, I do not think we're going to see it in television broadcast anytime soon. HDCP 2.2, you really don't have to be afraid. To see these or any of our other products from Metro Home Theater Group, please stop by our booth at CDA 2015 in Dallas, booth number 4942.